Hello again, everybody. Welcome to OC Varsity. We're here to talk about what's going on this week in girls basketball. Steve Fryer here with Dan Albano, who covers girls basketball for us. We're here at the Orange County Register and Nutrition Center, where journalists come for their daily fortification. Dan, um, Troy's put together this wonderful winning streak that goes back a long way. Sure does. And you know, a lot of the, the spotlight on uh, county basketball is on Bray and Modern Day, you know, illustrious histories for both. But Troy, for a long time, has been, you know, right there, you know, on top of that girls' basketball mountain in Orange County, right? Yeah, and the, you know, today is, is a big day for that streak, which is, you know, around uh, 214 consecutive league victories wow. for the uh, the Lady Warriors of Troy. They're playing at Sonora, which is, uh, you know, a big game. This is going to be their biggest test in maybe some quite some time. Okay. You know, Sonora is right uh, ranked ninth in Orange County. They're 19 and two, and they're playing host to um, a young uh, Troy team, which is uh, 10 and eight overall, and they're eighth in Orange County. Roger Anderson's got a very young team, and then Sonora's got uh, a, a you know, high-powered team. They've been scoring some points. Laney James is uh, uh, a, a senior who signed with Concordia in Irvine, so she's a very good player. She averages 21 and a half points a game. But the streak really, you know, as this game unfolds, and, and be sure to check out our coverage on OC Varsity this um, of this game, the streak is really impressive. How it dates back to the 96-97 season, Jeez. which happened to be the first season of Kevin Kiernan at um, at Troy. So he came, uh, you know, he had won a CIF title a few years ago at uh, before that at La Quinta, and was this rising coach. You know, uh, you know, you know, Co Coach Kiernan. You know, he was coaching boys, maybe boys assistant, coaching girls. So he was coaching Troy boys and girls at the same time. Right. Crazy coaching at Cerritos College. So he's so a lot of their, their streak, you know, it starts, you gotta go back to 96, 97, and for 21 straight years, they've been 10 and 0 every year in that double round of the Freeway League. Yeah. And uh, it really starts with Kevin Kiernan. Um, he, he replaced a, a coach, uh, Brad Sand, who had been there four years and had done and won four league titles in a row. And, and uh, so, but they just took it to a next level. What, what they did is, with, with Coach Kiernan, Kiernan there, is that he said that they were trying to model and uh, take it to the next level, and they wanted to compete with Brea. Brea, that nor the nearby North County powerhouse Lady Cats program, and he really succeeded in that. Sure. And this streak is one of the, is really an example of it. It's been, and he congratulates, Kevin congratulates Roger Anderson, who's the coach there now, and has really continued that streak. And now let's say, you know, they've won 25 consecutive league titles. It's a state record winning streak of about 214 games. But it's, a, it's, it's quite a testament to the Troy program and, uh, you know, and, and it really Kevin Kiernan because he's won everywhere he's, he's gone. Look what he's done at Modern Day where they weren't a basketball powerhouse before he got there. Now they are. Yeah. And, he's, uh, and then he won a, yeah. he won a CF title at La Quinta in 1990. So he's really a unique uh, uh, basketball mind. And, uh, and then Roger Anderson has really picked up the torch. Amy Jalawalia was that player of the year on that La Quinta team that won that title. Wow. I remember that. Hey, um, uh, we had a, a Brea Modern Day game a few days ago, and, and Modern Day wins this game by 24 points. It was, you know, pretty close in the first half. Right. Modern Day has a size advantage. You know, the front line, they're all like six foot, six foot one, six two. Pretty tall stuff in girls' hoops. Right. Uh, what did you learn from this game uh, as far as, like, how good Modern Day is, how good Brea is, what their playoff futures might be? Well, I think uh, a few things. The one number one takeaway from the week that the Modern Day had, where they also uh, handled Rosary quite handily. Yeah. Um, one by twenty there. A couple of days they before. played really right. well against Rosary. Is that there's a separation in Orange County between number one Modern Day and the rest of the county. Mm. There's separation, and Modern Day is on a on on the uh, on the path to the open division, and they're going to be contenders in the open division. You know, and I think what what another thing that's emerged this week is how well Modern Day has shot the ball from beyond the arc at the three-point lines, making them more dynamic. And um, so they're shooting it well. Their front line's holding up. The freshmen of, of Kaylee Pepe and uh, Brooke Dimitri, they're not your normal freshmen. They can. Uh, they did not back down from the spotlight games. Uh, they didn't, they, the, the moment came in, against Rosary and, and uh, Brea, and they were fine. And they, and they, uh, um, they, they were outstanding. Um, Emma Torbert's playing really well at center. They Six got that front two, line. Yeah. And then you got, you know, Allison uh, Fresca is shooting the ball well. She had a big game against uh, from beyond the arc against Rosary. And then uh, Kylan uh, Crocker is the is the really I think is the is a key player for 
for modern day. That's their point guard who's been out most of the season um, with the foot injury. It's pretty, it was a pretty significant foot injury. So she's coming back late into the fold. And I think, you know, I think that she's probably the key to their their team is how how much fast pace can uh, can can they play with her? How healthy is she? She's not 100%. Uh, Crocker's not 100%, but she's playing. She's coming back into the fold. They have some time, but I, I think in, in, in many ways, modern day girls, they're gonna, I think they'll be in the open division, but I think they're playing with house money in all honesty because they are so young with these three freshmen, Pepe, uh, Dimitri, Al, Allison uh, uh, Fresca as a freshman is two, the sharpshooter at the off guard. Crocker's still a junior. They're playing with house money. They're gonna make a great run this year and see how far they can get coming late to the game. And then they make their real run next year. All right. Well, that sounds pretty good, Dan. Um, they're you know, building at Modern Day. It's hard to believe they're rebuilding. building at Modern rebuilding. Day. Rebuilding. And here's the truck that's helping them build right now coming out in the background there. They're doing okay. Well, uh, it's been an interesting year already in girls basketball. We're going to try and keep up with what's going on inside, you know, not just the Orange County Top Ten, but keep an eye on that watch list. There's only going to be, there's about what, 20 teams in that watch list right yep. now. They're going to call that down to eight by the time uh, when the playoffs start. So it'll be interesting to see what modern day is in there or Braylon is in there. So keep up with all that here at OC Varsity. Dan Albano's on top of girls, uh, girls basketball, as he just proved once again. Thanks a lot for hanging out with us.